So let's start first things first. What is a moonshot? I'll give you a story about where the, the term came from and then give you something a little bit more concrete. So I started X along with a man named Sebastian Thrun. Uh, we've been going for a couple months. I wrote um, a strategic planning document, which nobody seemed to care about. I wrote a mission statement, didn't get any comments on that. I ended up sitting with Larry Page and I said, what is it specifically we're doing? Eh, you know. No, I actually don't know. Are we a research center? No. Okay, good, I agree. Are we a new division? That we're a business unit? Uh, not really. Okay. Um, are we just trying to um, be weird? No. <laughs> are we trying to take moonshots? And he said, that's what we're doing. Okay? So ever since that moment, I've referred to what we're doing as a moonshot factory. The word moonshot is meant to remind us that what we're trying to do is not for the faint of heart, it's not going to happen quickly, and it has a good chance of not being successful. I use the word factory to remind us that we're trying to systematize the process, that we're not just trying to be gamblers in the innovation space, we're trying to be card counters, we're trying to be organized and systematic about how we do these hard to accomplish things. And I use the word factory to refer back over 100 years ago to what Thomas Edison did, which was the first real attempt to industrialize innovation. Now, he called it an innovation lab. We refer to ours as a moonshot factory. But I think that we are very much standing on the shoulders of the intellectual and emotional work that he created when he did that.